I am Sudha Rani, your science teacher. I am very happy to meet you again. In the module 1 for the lesson Water, the gift from nature, we have learned so many things like uses of water, sources of water, scarcity of water, polluted water and protected water. Now, we are going to know about wastage of water and how to save water. From the module 2, Water, the gift from nature. Before going to the lesson, we have to see overview of this lesson. Look at this overview of the module 2 for the lesson Water, the gift from nature. First one, pre-knowledge. Second, wastage of water. Third, improve your learning. Shall we see what are the learning objectives of this lesson? Here we go. These are the learning objectives of this lesson. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to recognize how water is used and misused. Estimate the need of water for life. Describe the importance of water. Interpret how to save water. And practice water saving methods in daily life. Dear children, I am going to check your understanding level on module 1 content for this lesson. Are you ready children? Children, let us check your pre-knowledge on the module 1 content. Let's recall for which activities we are using water in our daily life. That means the domestic uses of water. Good. Bathing. Drinking. Cooking, watering plants, washing clothes and cleaning etc etc. Not only that, I know you are well known about different fields where we are using water in a huge amount. Share your previous knowledge about that. I have to appreciate you. Good. Agricultural field comes in the first place. From which we are getting food our primary need to get survive our lives. Farmers do not grow crops without water and animals, birds also need water to live. Fantastic children! So many industries of different types are working based on huge amount of water uses. That's it. No. Then, in medical field also, water is necessary and plays a prominent role in some types of therapies. We want to construct buildings, dams, roads, what else? Every construction needs water to get complete. In addition to these uses of our sun, we are also using for put up fire and aquaculture like some more fields. Without water, there are no sea creatures existence. For every living being, water needs to be alive. This is all discussed in module 1 of this lesson. Now, you have to tell me from where we are getting water. I know, you will say correctly. Already you have well known about types of water resources. One is natural sources like oceans, rivers, streams, ponds and lakes. And the other is man-made sources like wells, bore wells, hand pumps, dams and canals etc. come under this. Having this much of resources, we are facing one problem. What is that? We have already discussed. I am waiting for your response children. Good! You are correct. The problem is scarcity of water. It's very pathetic, isn't it? Look here. How they are getting water from long distances and waiting near water tanks. Around the world, this is a challengeable task for so many people to get water for their daily activities. Why it is happening so? Already you are known. Before the children, answer to my question, can we use directly the water available in our surroundings? You are very clever. Answer is no. By seeing these pictures, we can understand how the water is polluted due to human activities. A lot of garbage also dumped into water. How worst it is. Children, what are you thinking about? Oh yeah. Your guessing is correct. If we do like this, we cannot get fresh water. For that, you have learnt some precautions also to get cleaner fresh water. Will you recall once? Eyes. 
government is providing safe water scheme in villages and towns water will be purified in this method and comes to our houses but in houses also we have to follow some steps are you following those children which you have learned previous good if you following means you are taking care about your health let's discuss once again we know that we should boil water and cool it before drinking we can also purify water by using water filters and water purifiers water should be stored in clean and closed containers we should clean water bottles frequently by using salt warm water and bottle brush regularly because this is causing germs may develop in the bottle children you have to do one activity move with me here the task you have to take right or wrong marks for the below statements we should drink water directly from water sources in our surroundings we can also purify water by using water filters and water purifiers water should be stored in plastic covers for a long time we should clean water bottles frequently by using salt water regularly great children correct we should not drink water directly from water sources and should not store in plastic covers for a long time so both statements are wrong remaining both purifying water using filter and cleaning bottles regularly are correct i think you are waiting to do one more task i am ready to give what about you children children list the areas in which water is used yes good we use this water for domestic agricultural industrial constructional and medicinal areas children do you want to know why the water shortage is occurring to know that children we have to know about wastage of water i told you we will discuss about the point having so many water sources we are facing water shortage why now it's the time let's know look here you know that 97% of water is in oceans and 3% is fresh available from the three parts of the earth from that 3% of fresh water glaciers and ground water is around 2.7% and remaining 0.3% is accessible for our daily needs this is already known to you then what i am expecting from you i want that you have to get the knowledge about how the precious treasure like resource water is going waste and what are the responsibilities of us to do i will make you understand thoroughly come with me children do you have the how is water being wasted in your surroundings look at these pictures water is overflowing in bathrooms here they forgot to turn off the taps a lot of water is wasting here in this picture you will see water is leaking from pipes in this having bath with a lot of water using by shower see here this boy how he is brushing do you think is this correct way have you done like this yes you are correct it is wrong a lot of water is wasted in here this man is using buckets of water to clean his car do we need really this much of water to clean dishes too much of water is flowing so children these are few examples what we observe in our surroundings do you ever imagine what happens if we waste water my dear children i want to say one thing important that is water is very precious please do not waste water as we have learned about scarcity of water in module 1 now you are going to know what happens if we waste water in extent to that in fact water is a precious resource like a treasure that we need to take care of when we waste water it's like we are throwing away this treasure here is how it can affect our world number 1 harm to nature 
plants and animals also need water to survive just like we do. For example, if we use too much water, there might not be enough left for the trees and animals. It can lead to habitats like lakes, rivers and oceans becoming polluted or drying up. This can hurt the fish, birds, plants and other creatures that rely on water to live. The second one is less water for future generations. If we are not careful with how we use water now, there might not be enough left for kids who will grow up in the future. And the third one is energy waste. Making clean water takes a lot of energy. When we waste water, we are also wasting the energy that was used to clean and transport that water to our homes. It will be harder to keep the air clean. It creates a negative impact on our environment by producing more pollution. Pollution. When water is wasted, it can carry away things like trash, chemicals and pollution from the streets and end up in rivers, lakes and oceans, harming aquatic life and making the water unsafe to use. Fifth one, droughts and disasters. In some places, if the water is wasted a lot, it can lead to droughts. And this can make it difficult for people, plants and animals to survive as not enough water is there for a long time. It can also lead to problems like wildfires. And the last one is global changes. If we waste too much water, it can disturb the water cycle and cause problems like droughts or floods. I will show you a small examples what will be happen in our future and make you understand the reason for it. This much of growth is placing in our population around the world day by day. Imagine if we waste water like this, when can we get water sufficient for this growing population? So, we should not waste water because there is not that much quantity of water in earth to fulfill the population needs. If we should not take precautions to eradicate wastage of water, this will be our future. Look here. At last, we cannot get a few water also to quench our thirst. A question is waiting for you. My dear children, select the correct one from the options given below. How much percentage of water present on earth is accessible for our daily needs? Option A is 97%, B is 2.7% and option C is 0.3%. Right option. Option C, 0.3% is the correct answer. Now, we have to know our responsibilities to save water for future generations. There is a lot of water present on earth. But, due to our mistakes, we are facing water scarcity problem. I am very eager to introduce a boy named Ramu and his family. You must watch their good intent to Conserve water. Hello children. I am Ramu. This is our house. My mother and father always teach me to conserve water. I have learned a lot from them. I will show you what mistakes I have done and how to rectify it. I hope you will also learn some good habits. Children, she is my mother. Ramu, Ramu, wait, wait, wait. Don't drink with that big glass. You will waste a lot of water. Take this small glass, drink with this small glass. But Amma, why should we use these such type of small glasses? Because Ramu, we are saving water. Water is very precious. My dear Ramu, remember using less water is important. Using a smaller glass reminds us not to waste the remaining water in the glass. We must conserve water. And look Ramu, I am washing these fruits in a bowl of water. Amma, why not under the tap you are cleaning the vegetables? Ramu, you have to know that using a bowl 
says water. Let's be mindful of our resources. Water is like a treasure. For the future, we have to conserve the water. Ramu realized the importance and began using a small glass too. Children, you also acquire this habit. Drink with small glass. Don't waste water. Look here, one more situation happened which changed the mindset of Ramu. One evening, Ramu's father sat down on a sofa. He observed that water is overflowing in the bathroom. Ramu, look there. Water is overflowing from the buckets in the bathroom. Don't you know, we have to conserve the water. There is lot of water scarcity in our town. Overflow means wastage. We must use only what we need. Water is precious, Ramu. It sustains all life on earth, not only for human beings, for animals, plants and every living things, every drop matters. So, Ramu, I am telling once again, never let water run needlessly. Turn it off the taps after brushing, bathing. And whenever you see tank is overflowing, turn it off. I am really sorry, Nana. I never do like this. I am promising you. I will save water. Just now I am going Nana. I will turn off the tap in the bathroom. Have you observed children? Ramu is a good boy so he listens to his parents. I hope you also very good kids. You will also acquaint this good habit of conserving water. Children, tons of the motor when tank is full. It's also a reason of wastage in water. Let's see some more reasons of wastage in water. We must also have to follow some more steps to save water in our homes. Check the pipes for leak. If the pipes are leaking, check and fix them. Don't be neglect. Not allowed to water overflow. Turn off the tap before water overflows from the vessel. If we follow these steps in our house, we will eradicate wastes of water. Let's have a quick glance on all these points once again. Children, what should be done to stop wastes of water? What do you have learned from Ramu's family? From seeing Ramu's family, we can learn some steps to save water at our home. Use small glass to drink water. Washes fruits and vegetables in a bowl of water, not waste under running tap water. Never allows water to overflow from the bucket. Turns off the taps immediately after using water for brushing, washing clothes, taking bath, etc. Checks the pipes for leaks. Turns off the motor when tank is full. Not to allow water to overflow. Turn off the tap before water overflows from the vessel. These steps we have to follow in our house. Children, tell me. How can you help to stop wastage of water in your surroundings? Whatever you are sharing your ideas on, how can you help? Or very good. Create awareness not to waste water like turn off the motor after tank is filling up and turn off the taps after our work completion like that. The second one is put up slogans not to waste water to create awareness in our neighbors and friends. For example, Turn off the tap, make every drop a gift, save water, secure tomorrow, no water, no life, hold your grip and stop the drip, think, think and think before wasting water in the sink. Children, you can collect or prepare some more slogans like this. Now, an activity is waiting for you. Children, I hope. You will like this activity very much. Drag and drop the images below which one feels right for you in happy earth or sad earth. Good job! You have done superb! The man turns off the tap, bathing with bucket of water, watering plants with shower pot, repairing the pipes leakages and washing cow with bucket of water and cloth come under happy earth. Remaining pictures Brushing with running water, washing car with pipe water, shower bath, cleaning vegetables under tap and a lady watering plants with pipe talking in mobile without observing overflow. Come under sad earth. Children, do you want earth to be happy or sad? 
as you are good children, you always follow good habits and keep us happy. Now we have to move next, improve your learning. We are shining stars. Let's improve your learning. Children, you have to answer the following question. What are the uses of water in our daily life? Very good. Bathing, washing clothes, cooking, watering plants, drinking and cleaning etc. For so many activities, we are using water. Children, I am going to check your understanding. Answer the following questions. What happens if there is no water? Well done, my little guys. Correct. The earth would be dry and plants, animals and humans would not be able to survive. Oh, it's scary to imagine that happening. So, it is our responsibility to conserve water very carefully. Dear cuties, shall we get ready to answer one more question? Children, now... You should recall and answer once about types of water sources. Perfect! I know you will say correctly. Already you have well known about types of water resources. One is natural sources like oceans, rivers, streams, ponds and lakes. And the other is man-made sources like wells, bore wells, hand pumps, dams and canal etc. come under this. My dear little shining stars, Share your opinions on how to save water in your own words. Which steps are you going to follow about learning conserving methods from Ramu's family? Here is the question. Answer the question, how can you save water? Brilliant job cuties. Use small glass to drink water. Tons of the taps immediately after using water for brushing, washing clothes, taking bath, etc. Never allows water to overflow from the buckets, water tanks and vessels. Washes fruits and vegetables in a bowl of water and not waste under running tap of water. Check the pipes for leaks. Promise me dears, from today onwards, we will bound to these steps. I know you are eagerly waiting for one more task. Move. I hope you are ready. Then tell me. What questions would you ask your parents to know about the water sources in the olden days? Fantastic job! Good questions! How did people get water before taps? How did they find safe water to drink? Was water easy to find for everyone? What tools did they use to carry water? Could people swim in rivers and lakes a long time ago? How did they wash dishes and cloths without our sinks? Did they use water for cooking and cleaning like we do? Any cool stories about water from back in the old days? My dear little ones, will you come with me? I will take you somewhere. So children, what we came to visit? No, I will show you. Move with me. This is protected fresh water scheme of our village. Observe how water is supplied and the steps taken to supply. Say in your words after keen observation and write down in your notebooks. Marvelous! Water purification steps from source to village tank. In step 1, finding water. Find a clean source of water like a well, river or lake. 2. Screening. Use a screen to remove big things like leaves and sticks from the water. 3. Coagulation. They add special stuff to make tiny particles stick together and become bigger. 4. Settling. The water sits quietly and the bigger particles sink to the bottom. 5. Filtration. Water passes through sand, gravel and other materials to remove smaller particles. 6. Disinfection. They add a little bit of something like chlorine to kill any harmful germs. 7. Mixing and waiting. Then mix the water and let it rest so the disinfection can work well. 8. Clarification. Any tiny remaining particles settle down again. 9. Adjusting pH. They check if the water is too acidic or too basic. If needed, they make it just right.
10 safe stories. Clean water goes into a big tank that keeps it safe from dirt and germs. Step 11. Checking quality. People test the water to make sure it's clean and safe to use. And the last step is distributing to village. Pipes carry the clean water to the village so everyone can use it. So these are the steps to make sure water is clean and safe before it reaches the village tank. It's important for everyone's health and happiness. I hope you have understood very well dear. I am going to allot a project work to you. Little smileys. Collect information from your friends about how they save water and give that report in the table given on the screen. Name of the student, source of water, water saving methods you have to write. Well done my kids. Ramu, tap water, thumbs up the tap after work. Sita, well, uses less water. Devi, river, doesn't dump wastes in it. Sweetie, hand pump uses less water. Charan, borewell, tons of motor after tank is full. Your friends are so good. Dear children, I know you have a good artist in you. I want to test him. My blooming flowers, draw a picture of a bottle brush and say how to use it. Amazing! You draw very beautifully. Tell me children, how you are using this brush in your house? Good! So, you are using this to clean water bottle. Put a pinch of salt and pour warm water and clean with this bottle brush. So children, clean your water bottles regularly in this manner. Children, look there. I think she is Devi. Devi is warning some kids in which matter and why. Let's see that. One day, Devi was going to her friend's house to play. On the way, she saw some children wasting water at a bore pump. Children, tell me what would you do if you were there? Very good. Let us hear what Devi told them. What's going on? Why are you wasting water? Don't you know water is precious? Have you forgotten that what our teacher said? Water is a resource we need to protect, not to waste. When we waste like this, it can harm the environment. Every drop counts. Water is essential for not only humans. Plants and animals also cannot live without water. Play different. But... Let's also be use water wise. Children, I think if you will be in the place of Devi, you also tell like this. If anybody in your friends also wasting water like this, you have to bring awareness of saving water. Children, look at the screen. Here is an interesting maze. You have to find the way by choosing the picture which we have to follow to conserve water. No words are missing correctly. Children, you must remember that the water is life and conservation is the future. Let's save lives through water conservation. WH Oden says, water is the soul of the earth. Never forgot. No water, no life. Thank you.